A great cool combo for your whole posterior chain, really I'm talking about your back and your triceps, is by integrating a low row into our tricep kickback. Let's look at those two exercises individually. Now of course for the low row, normally we've got it fully shortened. In this case, we're gonna come down nice and deep. Here we are, driving straight up, straight down in that standard low row. That one's not new to anybody. The kickback might be. For that, we're going to have it mid-length, just like we do for most of our standing exercises, hands supinated, like palms facing forward. And once we've grabbed onto them, we wanna find our end range back here. We can use an offset foot position for this, pinning our elbows right to our sides, driving right up, right down, making sure we're getting really good extension at the top, driving through those triceps. To put them together, we're gonna to make a slight adjustment to the way we usually do that low row. First of all, we're gonna use an offset foot position. That's because we're gonna need that back foot to help us out of the bottom if we're gonna get anything from the row. Second of all, we're gonna use the TRX at its mid-length position. Those are two differences that we usually don't do for the low, for the low row. So here we go, grabbing on, I find this position right down here in this low row, I'm gonna row up, but then from here, notice I'm in a great position to turn that in to that kickback. So it's row, kickback, trying to get good extension the whole way through. I wanna make sure I switch my offset midway through the set. Really trying to squeeze those triceps out, rowing, boom, turning it over into the kickback. Tremendous integration of two movements that are on their own are great, but as a cool combo, well, they take it to a whole nother level. Give those ones a try.